The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. We're going to post the chart today of the DAX for our chart. As you can see, we had a really nice ABCD pattern down there yesterday. Uh, maybe that's the reason why we had a good rally, but uh, we didn't have anything like this particular pattern because we were still quite high up, but we'd had a couple of really hard days down during Monday and Tuesday and early Wednesday. But we did complete a 61% uh, retracement here on the upside. By the way, folks, these charts that I pose for the DAX and the FTSE, they come for uh, Mr. Alan Smith over in the UK, been a student for many years, has become a very good friend, and he's nice enough to send his charts on to me so that I can share them with you here in the den, because I really don't do any DAX trading or FTSE trading. I've traded the DAX a few times when I've been in seminars uh, in Europe, but I, and it trades just like the S&P, that you can't tell the difference from the chart. Well, you can't tell the difference on any of the charts, but that's it's a real easy one. Let's take a look at the FTSE, and then I wanted to make a, a quick comment here about uh, Tom Hugard. Let me get this up here for the FTSE, and you'll be able to see it's uh, it's much weaker here, and it has been much weaker for quite some time. We'll get this up here. There we go. Get this right up here. There you can see the FTSE uh, had the ABCD. You see the bolt, the blue thunderbolt there. Really nice setting right just a little above, below the 61% retracement. You get a huge high going up to make a three drive to a top pattern. And then bada bing, bada boom, you can see it has a uh, pretty big drop. That's equivalent to what we've done here in the Dow Jones and in the S&P. Now my comment uh, regarding Tom Hugard. Tom uh, has a Telegram uh, site that you can go there and, and view it if you like. It's Trader Tom at Telegram. And he posts all his trades and he gives a lot of great information. He gives free books, free, just a lot of free stuff. He doesn't charge for anything. And it's all free. He's got several thousand people in that room. I think tw right around 2,200 folks. Some of those people in that room were the most vicious people I have ever seen in my life, what they say about him. I mean, it's just, uh, I mean, people, I can understand when you're dealing with the public that this kind of stuff happens, but uh, it's really, really sad. Uh, he's taken a vacation. He, was, he already took the vacation, and then they, they started to come in and bombard him, but, that, you know, all just kind of things that were just totally untrue. Fortunately, the the bulk of the people uh, were you know knew exactly what was happening and they came uh, they started arguing back and forth so I mean you, if there's a recipe for for uh, frustration in this business it's try to please everybody because that is not going to happen there is just no way that that's going to happen so anyway we certainly enjoyed having Arch Crawford on our uh, as our guest yesterday I'm going to have lunch with Arch and uh, Byron Tucker today which will be a lot of fun for me because uh, we've, we've been friends with these guys for a very, very long time, and we get to visit with them. Now, as I left you yesterday, oh, I did want to bring a couple of charts up that I think are very, very important. First of all, let's look at the E-mini S&P here, what we've done here thus far in the last few days. Thanks, Mr. Z. I appreciate the, the uh, comment. You'll see the big ABCD, the downside down there at 3070. Remember, that was really close to that 382 retracement that we talked about. Then the market came up. It made yesterday, it made a 61% retracement there, as you can see. And then we exploded to the upside. And where do we stop? Right at the 61% retracement of the whole move, that's at 31.25. So far, we haven't taken that out. We could easily, but that's neither here nor there. It's very important, that 31.25, because if we take it out, 
The next one you're looking at is 3140. And as you know, by tweet by tweet, these things can always uh, go a whole lot farther than you might want to think that they can, because this is why the market has given us a chance to protect ourselves by using stops. So that's a very interesting one. Now, here is another one. I, I sent the video out on this uh, uh, last night, I believe. I think I'm pretty sure I did. And you'll be able to get this up here and take a quick look at it. This is the uh, this is the crude oil, the Jan crude oil. Uh, we got up to uh, 5,900, folks. You notice that little red D up there? That's at 58.95, and from there it dropped 90 pips in a matter of about. 30 seconds. I don't know where it's trading now, but it had a big drop uh, from what someone told me right after hitting that, that perfect ABCD. Now, do we know whether this ABCD is valid or not? No, we don't. All we know is that it backed off almost a full dollar after the, the sell-off. Now, if it goes back above that, that would uh, tell you that this thing is not right, and it's going to be going uh, going down. Ruby said uh, we're looking at platinum is going to 880. And then to 850, as we talked before, well, that's, that's a possibility, Ruby. Once in a while, these things work pretty good. Let's take a quick look here at Ruby's uh, chart on the uh, – give me one second so we can get this up here – at the platinum, and we will see what it looks like. Uh, yeah, we're getting pretty close. Let's just get this up here one second here, and we'll be able to take a look at it. Yeah, we're at uh, yeah we're at uh, we're at the 15. Uh, yeah, we're we're there at the uh, 80. Yeah, we're heading down to that uh, level. By golly, that's what it looks like. Well, we still we're still uh, sort of negative to the gold because we've not been able to get above that 14. You know, 90 uh, level, which was really important. That was that uh, high we made the other day. Now we're 10 bucks below that. So, and the platinum does look good. That platinum looks really good, Ruby, for two factors. First of all, that's going to be a, a double bottom there. Uh, excuse me. I mean, you're going to have two targets exactly at roughly at the same price, 840, and that's only 40 bucks from where we are right now. And that will also be a 61 percent retracement of the low that we made way back in June. So, I would really watch that one very, very closely. It looks like it's going to be uh, pretty interesting, but we get to that spot here for sure. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to have uh, Bill Meridian on this week. Uh, he's only one day left, but we are going to have Tom Hugard on tomorrow. He will be on, and hopefully we'll have him on for a little bit longer time frame because he's taking a uh, trading break, and I want to talk to him you know, about how he's handling this abuse that he's taking because it's ruthless. And not only that, he's doing it to try to help people. I mean, he really does. He gave, he gave that beautiful book out. Uh, you know, he's not a professional writer, but he he tells it like it is in there, and he, he bears his soul about what he's doing. And I, I think any time that you can get inside someone's head to talk to them about that, uh, I think it's, uh, it's very important. And he certainly walks his talk, as they say, in the trade. If the old, um, what was that, what was that, uh, walking tall with uh, Buford? Uh, purser. <laughs> anyway, uh, by the way, his idol is uh, Chuck Norris. So if you ever want any Chuck Norris folks uh, uh, jokes, he has uh, he has some really good ones in there. I would have loved to have had a book by uh, Frank Tauscher. Unfortunately, Frank died at the age of 59. He didn't even get to finish his sentence. He was standing on a street corner with his son in Tulsa. And he was talking to his son, and he had a massive aortic aneurysm. That's the big, the big uh, 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 artery in the middle of your body that uh, pumps everything from the heart down. And boy, he, you, you don't, you don't have any. It's instantaneous. Anyway, uh, let's move on here, and we'll get back to that story we talked about. Larry Bird, whose birthday was yesterday. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and forex. 
Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Task Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have a caller from Florida. Bill, are you there? I am, Larry. Good morning. Good morning to you. What can I help you with, my friend? Larry, in the newsletter, you sent out a chart of the ES this morning earlier, and it shows yes. uh, the it shows some really perfect Fibonacci retracements, and it it hit the uh, the six one eight, and now it's pulling off of that at the uh, thirty one twenty five level. I'm assuming that this would be, you know, you would put a stop above that that six one eight level, and I don't know how you determine the, the the number of ticks you would go above that, and this would be a pretty good entry point. Again, no guarantees, nothing works 100% of the time, but at the moment, the ES is slightly pulling back, not a whole lot, but it, it's pulling back somewhat off of that 6, 0.618 retracement. Yeah, Bill, it, it it was perfect. It hit 31.25, and you know, if you're trading. This is a half-hour chart that I posted, but on a half-hour yes. chart, you can you can get by by using a six-point stop, which is $300. Well, you know, the this contract's worth 150 grand, so I mean, three $300 is uh, is really a very very minuscule amount to see if you're going to be right or not. So if you sold it up there, around that 25 level, your stop would be uh, 31.31. So so you're only risking, uh, you know, three hundred dollars. So that that's what I put that there for, is to let you know that it's the amount of money that you have to risk to see if you're going to be right or not, because you don't know whether these patterns are going to hold or not. Uh, you know, in fact, the fact that it hasn't moved very much, I think we're trading at thirty-one nineteen right yes. now, is telling right. us that uh, you know maybe it'll work, maybe it don't. And the slightest little tweet that could come out of uh, Washington or Timbuktu, <laughs> and you can see it, uh, you can see it twenty points higher. 20 points lower in these kind of markets. 
No, understood, Larry. Perfect. What a great tutorial that was, and that was very good. Terrific. Thank you, Larry. Hey, hey th thanks for calling in, Bill. I really appreciate it, and may God bless. Okay, folks, as I left you the last time, we were talking about, uh, we were at my uh, my grandmother's restaurant, Louise's, there in Terre Haute, Indiana. It was 1978, and I had just met Larry Bird. He was a junior at uh, Indiana State University, and he was having dinner with uh, one of my mentors and very, very dear friends, Lou Meese, who owned Meese & Company, which later was bought out by one of the big conglomerates, and Lou lives down in Naples, Florida now at Larry's uh, Country Club there, and uh, it's uh, been a good time. But I did get to meet him, and then I was able to attend several of his birthday parties that are always, his birthday was December 4th, but the parties are July the 4th there in Terre Haute, Indiana, out at Max Gibson's Lake. It's a big fish fry and stuff, and it's always a lot of fun. So let me get on to the story. This is the same restaurant that uh, Ruth Miller and her husband would always eat in because they lived in Farmersburg, just south of Terre Haute, and she taught at uh, Indiana, and she, w at, and she was an economics professor there. And uh, I didn't know her very well. I knew her, her, I knew her, fa her, her husband, John, and his son and their son, Terry, very well because I traded soybeans for them while I was at Drexel. And so I was, uh, and we did gold and silver too, but we had a very, very uh, lucrative business going with making some money, which was good. But she would go into this restaurant, and many years later, this is now 1980, 1986, and she sent me a uh, a little note on a napkin from the restaurant. My aunt, who owned the restaurant at the time, took the note and mailed it to me. In the, in, there in uh, Avo, I was living in Avalo Beach with uh, Rafoni there at the beach house. And that little note said, uh, soybeans, uh, I think it was November soybeans were going to go off the board. Yes, it was November soybeans would go off the board around uh, whatever the price it was, 865. And I wasn't trading. I was still doing uh, expert witnessing for uh, Gibson, Dunn and Crutcher and Kiesland Logan there in California. I was you know, able to pay the bills and having a little bit of fun. I was going through a divorce. I wasn't trading. Whenever I have something like that, you know, you just stay away because you, you're never going to do anything right. Anyway, that price came up, and uh, and I happened to look at it, and so I still had, uh, you know, John's phone number, and so I called, and I, you know, she said, well, I know we haven't talked very much, because you always spend time with uh, John and Terry, but, uh, you know, I've been doing a lot of work in astrology, and I can show you, I know you really like Fibonacci, but I can show you how these relationships are related to Fibonacci. And uh, she said, why don't you come down to Florida? She was living down there in Sarasota during the winter, and she said, why don't you come down and spend a month? And she was remarried now to a really nice fellow from uh, Illinois, another farmer. And uh, she said, why don't you come down and spend some time with us, and we'll go over it. So I didn't have anything to do for Thanksgiving. So what I did was I hopped on a plane, and I went down to Sarasota, and I was going to spend uh, a couple of weeks. I ended up spending just about six weeks, as I recall, and I got back uh, right about the first of the year, and I had all kinds of papers. I mean, my goodness, I had every single we, – we had done so much work, it was unbelievable. Uh, we had Neil Michelson from uh, Astro Computing, you know, giving us the dates. We had 20 men, you know, showing us the uh, chart patterns. And so we were, ma we were matching up these uh, aspects with these uh, things on the charts. And so I got back, and I had uh, – well over 300 pages of stuff. And so I had it spread out all over, all over the dining room table there. And uh, uh, I knew I had uh, to write a book. That's what I what that's what my plan was. But I didn't know, you know, where to start or do anything. But it was right at the first of the year. And they were having a big uh, Capricorn party for all the, the people there at the beach that had birthdays in January. And one of the people that was there was uh, Pam, Pam Hearth. She was the chairman of the... Uh, uh, publishing department and uh, English department at Cal Poly San Luis Obispo, and uh, she saw all these papers. I had moved them into the bedroom, you know, when uh, the people were there, and she walked by, and she saw these stacks of papers, and she said, what's that for? And I said, well, I want to do a book. And she said, oh, she said, please let us do it for you. And I says, what do you mean? She says, well, we have a grant from the U.S. government, and we're, we're trying to, to find someone that we can do a book for. We want to put it all together, the footnotes and everything. And I said, well, what's that going to cost me? She said, well, it's not too bad. She said, all you have to do is file a $50 fee with the U.S. government and uh, non-refundable, of course. She said, but we can take it over and we'll do the whole book. Well, that was a no-brainer for me. 
I packed up the stuff. The next day, I took it up to the university, and I said, here it is. I said, I don't know what to do. And he, she said, don't worry. She says, we'll do everything. We'll do the cover and everything. You let us know how we do it. Boy, in about, uh, it was about two months later, she came back with just an absolute, I was, I was nearly in tears because it was exactly the book that I published, uh, you know, Astro Cycles, the, the Trader's Viewpoint. It had all the diagrams, and she had, they had, had pre prepared a really good front and back cover, and it was really good. So now all I had to do was to sell it. That's going to be the second part of this show today is when how I started to, uh, to sell the book because uh, – very, 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 in, very, very instrumental in where I am today, just from what went on during these times, uh, early 1987, when uh, we had finished it up. But uh, I'll cover this when we get back. If you have any questions about the uh, charts that are going on, I'll be happy to do it. But frankly, the reason why I'm doing this, I'm not going to do any more writing. There's not going to be an autobiography. So all I'm going to do is to share some stories. I've got a lot of stuff written, and I'll share bits and pieces of those stories. But my writing days are over, boys and girls. I'm not going to be doing any more uh, books. 877-927-6648. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he's watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Okay, folks, we're back, and uh, we are talking about uh, how I got started writing this book on astrology, and we finally got it fixed up by the uh, uh, fixed it by the uh, uh, people at the Cal Poly San Luis Obispo. So I had the book. My first call was to Larry Williams down in San Diego, and down at uh, he was living in uh, Rancho Santa Fe at the time. One of the nicer places to live in Southern California. And I called him. I told him I had an idea what I had done. He said, come on down. He said, we'll have lunch and I'll take a look at it. I drove down there the following day and that was about a five-hour drive from San Luis Obispo. I got there. Uh, he said, uh, look, he said, let's have lunch and then uh, let me read this and come back in about two hours. And he said, here, take the Rolls Royce and go for a ride. He had a brown Rolls Royce and I laughed at him and I said, there's no way I'm going to drive a Rolls Royce because I was <laughs> a little over my pay grade. And I was a little intimidated. But uh, anyway, what I did was I went and uh, I, uh, you know, I just, I don't remember exactly what I did. I think I went in a coffee shop and, you know, had a Coke or something and waited a couple hours. I came back and uh, he says, what do you have in mind? I said, well, what I'd like to do is if we could co-publish it, you know, Larry Williams with Larry Pesaveno. And he looked at me and he said, Larry, he said, I'd love to do that. He said, but I really couldn't do that. And uh, I said, okay, I understand. He said, no, not for the reason you might think. And he said, the reason is, he said, this is a home run. He said, I would be taking a lot of money away from you if we co-publish this and you can do this yourself. I said, I don't even know where to start. He said, look, he reached in his uh, briefcase, uh, his, his file cabinet, and he pulled out this list of about 3,000 people. He said, this is a list. He said, I think it's relatively current, but I'm not really sure. But he said, all of these people have been interested in some of the esoteric stuff that I've done over the years, because he had done some work in astrology, too. He said, use that as a base to see if you can get some business. So he gave me the list, copied it out. I took it back to San Luis Obispo, and then I went over back to the university, and I you know, asked them, what, what do I do now? And they said, well, what we'll do is we can go to the uh, uh, the handicap center, and they'll hand address all these envelopes. We'll send out a one-page flyer to sell the book. And so I picked a price of uh, $89, which was a nice Fibonacci number. And so I sent out those 3,000 envelopes uh, with their little flyer in it. And then I uh, sent those out on a Tuesday. And I started to wait to see when I'd get my first business. And it came in Friday morning at about, uh, oh, 530 in the morning. And it was Irving Feldman from New York City. And uh, he said, I'd like to buy the book. And uh, I said, uh, no problem. And I said, uh, here's how you send the check. He said, what do you mean send a check? He said, no one's going to send a check to you. He said, you have to have credit cards to do this. I said, well, I don't, I don't have that access. He said, well, how do you expect to sell any books? I said, well, I figured people would send me a check. Yeah, they say they will, but they won't do it. He said, you've got to have credit cards. So I said, well, I know how to get credit cards. So I, that was real early in the morning. I called Michael Weintraub, who owns uh, the Michaels uh, uh, Furs and Leathers there in San Luis Obispo. And he and his father were very dear friends of the family. And his father was a furrier from Santa Barbara. And he had all the uh, accounts that I needed. He had <laughs> even had Diners Club, believe it or not. So he had American Express and all the Visa and all that stuff. And he was retired. And uh, he said, yeah, he says, you can use these cards. He says, you're not going to sell very many. He said, just uh, put a little bit back for taxes. And uh, he said, yeah, we can do that. And so I had it set up within about an hour. And all the billing went through Mr. Milton's Furs out of Santa Barbara for Astro Cycles that first got started. So I called Irving Feldman back and I said, uh, okay, I've got the cars going. And he said, well, how much is the newsletter? And I said, I don't have a newsletter. I'm selling a book. He said, well, the people want to know what these dates are. He said, look, you got to have a newsletter. And he said, you might as well have a hotline. And I says, well, I said, what kind of doctor are you? He said, I'm, he said, I'm internal medicine. I said, how do you know this stuff? He said, well, I've been around a long time, which he had been. Anyway, I ended up having a newsletter, and then I had a, a uh, the book, and I had the newsletter, a book, and a hotline. So he said, "Let's." We figured it out. It came out to three hundred and seventy-seven dollars, a Fibonacci number for the whole thing. I said, "Oh, I said I don't think I'm going to sell many at that." He said, "Well, you've already sold one. That's me." So I had started off my day at three hundred and seventy-seven dollars, and I was happier than a little pig running around in the, uh, as you know, what they run around in in the in the, in the pig yard there. And so at the end of the day, that was Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I was still taking orders. Monday morning, I had $33,000 in the bank. 
and uh, it built from there. So it was really, uh, it really took off and did really well. And I, and what was really nice about it, the book got some nice accolades from the cycled people and stuff. But uh, the main thing was, is I've never had anybody ask for their money back on these books. So that made me feel pretty good. And they're not very expensive, but you know, they still have a little bit of information. So that's really how I got started doing it. I did the newsletter from uh, uh, 80, from 19. Uh, 88 through uh, 1993, and then I just was got really interested in artificial intelligence and some other stuff, and I just didn't like writing it anymore, so I, I basically stopped it. So that's how I got into the astrology part. I've seen uh, really good glimpses of uh, how how exciting it can be, but folks, I've never, I've never seen the Holy Grail. Uh, I thought I've had a few times, but it's not out there. The Holy Grail is in the nine inch cycle, folks. That's a cycle from your left ear to your right ear. That's the one that really means anything. So uh, just keep in mind that it has nothing to do with these patterns. It has nothing to do with astrology. It's all about the psychology of what you're looking at when you're uh, looking at these markets. So that's the key is uh, what's the picture in the mirror, your picture, because that one decides whether you're going to be powerful or not. You see that in Tom Hugard's book, uh, how he did that. You know, he, he learned to disassociate himself from technical analysis and realize that what he had to do was to take the knowledge that he had and convert that into something that gave him risk control. And that's really what the, the bottom line is uh, all about. So those are just a few of the things that, uh, you know, that I learned over the years that there is no Holy Grail. And believe me, I searched a long time for it, and quit, quit a long time ago to looking for it, but uh, it's not, it might be there. And look, look at Jim Simmons, folks. He's only right 50% of the time, and he's the best there is in the business. No one's had a, no one's had a uh, record like he has, uh, 39% a year for 30 years. Give me a break. Anyway, that's what's going on. So 877-927-664. Oh, there's one other sequel to the book. I, this is my favorite part. Uh, uh, we had a, uh, it was my birthday in July of that year, uh, July of 87. I was really going strong, but Martin, the stock market was going straight up and uh, everything was going good. And uh, I had a birthday party and uh, John Raffoni, uh, who I was, I used to live with John. Now I was living at the big house up in uh, Pismo up on the cliff. And so we had a party and Fred Grant there in San Luis Obispo, the ophthalmologist, uh, had a big house and they wanted to do a big barbecue. And so we had a big barbecue and uh, Fred had two kids, two daughters that were at Cal Poly. And uh, they were very attractive girls, so they, as, as usual, all the boys were uh, uh, congregating around these uh, girls. And so there were about 100 people there. They had a big basketball court, and because everybody knew I was from Indiana and a big Larry Bird fan, they gave me a night— uh, uh, number 33 Boston Celtics jersey and so I was wearing this jersey and I will finish this next part you'll, I think you'll like this next part CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. 
If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Directions Daily S&P 500 Bull and Bear Leveraged ETFs. Direction Leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Trading Hour with Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Next. Okay, folks, I'll finish up this story about the astrology. It was my birthday, uh, 1987, and it was supposed to be a surprise birthday party, but I finally figured it out that there was going to be a party. And uh, there were about 100 people there, which was nice. And they had uh, brought my both my daughters. Uh, my one daughter was going to school at uh, – back east somewhere near where Mr. Basil Chapman lives, and the other one was at UCLA. So they came up for the party. And so I had this green shirt on and Larry Bird shirt, and these kids from the college were there. These were their college bat. They played on the college team for San Luis Obispo, and they were out playing on the the, uh, the beautiful uh, basketball court that Fred Grant had uh, built for his daughters who played basketball. And so they were out playing and they were shooting around and stuff. And I'd had a, more than a few glasses of wine. And so they started chiding me about being from Indiana. Come on, play with us. Show us what you got. Da -da 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 -da. And uh, they kept saying, oh, come on out. And so I said, all right, all right. So I, at that time, I was still in really good shape. And I still played. You know, I used to go out and shoot around, which I was pretty good at, at shooting. I was very good. So I told them, I said, okay, let's play horse. Those of you that you try to, you know, match the the, uh, the basket that the, you shoot one and the person's supposed to match it. I said, okay, we'll play horse. But the old thing is you guys can't shoot anything closer than 15 feet. You've got to be farther back than 15 feet so that I have a chance because I, I can't dunk the ball or anything like that. So these have got to be trick shots. Oh, no problem. No problem. I said, let's make it a little more interesting and i pulled out a hundred dollar bill i set on the concrete there i said okay let's give me let's play let's play five games twenty dollars each and let's see who wins oh oh they started lining up there were five of them five or six of them there please please play and put some more money out put some more money out so i didn't know what was going to happen so i went out behind the bushes it was about 25 30 feet from the basket and i fired one and whew, nothing but net and then I fired another one, nothing but net. I took the first guy out in five shots. Now they were a little bit reluctant. Folks, I was absolutely on fire for about 30 minutes. And then the combination of old age muscles and the wine got to me, and I could hardly hit the bank board. But by then, I had picked up about 80 bucks, which I gave it back to the kids. But uh, it was really fun. The funny part about this, my, my daughters were there, and they, had, they knew that I knew how to play because they had seen old pictures and stuff. But anyway, four or five years later, 
I'm in Los Angeles at a dinner, and the the waiter comes up to me and he said, "You don't remember me?" He said, "But I was at your birth party, birthday party in 1987 when you destroyed those kids." He said, "I thought that was the coolest thing I ever saw," and I I always remember that. It was really kind of funny. Okay, that's enough. Let's move on. Anybody have any more questions here in the den? That'll be the end of that. I will try not to do any more of this, but uh, that's pretty much what it is. Yes, they called uh, Larry Bird the Hick from French Lick because. He's from French Lick, Indiana, and uh, he was given that nickname by uh, Al McGuire, uh, who was a big fan of Larry Bird's. Of course, when they had that big game in 1979, the finals between uh, Magic and Michigan State. And Kansas City, uh, is that coffee you want to look at, Bob? I, I don't really have an updated coffee chart because I'm updating data, and believe me, I'm in a disaster situation in coffee. I still believe is, – is it above 120 now, Bob? Because the last time I did check it, I believe it was at 120. Remember, Ruby and Mr. Z were talking about coffee. Look at that, 124. You remember when Mr. Z and Ruby were talking about that puppy when it was trading at 96 bucks a pound? Hello, that's a hell of a move, Ruby and Mr. Z. And that's why being in the den here can help some of you folks. There's some really smart folks in there. They post their trades, what they're doing. They post their stops, and that's a big help. So if you're alone as a trader, take a look at the TFNN den because they've got some really, really smart people uh, in there that are posting some uh, great stuff, which is uh, really good. Okay, I believe that it's definitely a breakout because once we went above the 120 uh, area, Bob, we, we did break out. I, You know what? I do have that. Uh, yes, uh, what am I talking about? I, I have a... Uh, it only takes me a few minutes to catch up these days, but I'm, once I get moving, I'm all right. Let's get up here. We get up to the coffee. Where are you, coffee? There we are. Yeah, here we go. Oh, wow. There we go. Look at this. We even talked about this last week. There we go. This is what we were looking at. There's the target we were looking at was 123, and we're right there right now. There's your ABCD pattern. Bada bing, bada boom. Look at look at lay hey, boys and girls. Look down there in October. You see that uh, you see that double bottom Gartley pattern at 93. That's when Mr. Z was letting it be, and Ruby was on the T, telling you this is where it's going to be. And here we are at 124 today, uh, right at the ABCD. I wouldn't buy it here. Because uh, you're in a very, very strong extension here, and you're due for a correction, and you've been up for 10 weeks, basically nonstop, other than that little 382 retracement at 104. So I wouldn't buy it here, but it certainly does look pretty good. Boy, some of these patterns just happen to work. Remind me to send you 20 bucks, uh, Bob. Okay, we'll move that on. Okay, Mr. Z, let's see what's on here. What else you want to know about? Okay, I'd like to see a correction down. We're trading, yeah, we're around 9 or 10 cents is what I'd be looking for. Right There you go. That 9 cents down will take you to 116, so take a look at it. I hope that helps. So, And, you know, coffee's uh, had one heck of a run there, but uh, – just patterns, folks. I know nothing about the coffee market other than it's uh, – mostly of it is Brazil and uh, uh, Africa. Most of the coffee comes from there, as I recall. All right. One other question that someone asked is about the uh, the big pattern in the natural gas that we've been waiting for. And if you'll get this up here, we'll be able to see this pattern has completed in the natural gas. And we had a nice 20. We've already rallied. We already got up to 250 yesterday. Now we backed off a little bit in that. So we're still in the correction mode here. Anything above 250 in the natural gas is going to be a uh, – a big move uh, out of that uh, out of that area. By the way, Bob, thank you for asking me to put up that that coffee chart. I didn't realize it was going to be so spot on. So that twenty dollar bill will be in the mail to you as soon as possible. All righty. Let's see. No more guests this week. Next week we're going to have the wizard himself, Mister. Uh, Winsky will be on on the 11th of December. That's the day before we have the full moon, and he'll be talking to us about some of the exciting things that he's looking at, and then hopefully we will have uh, Bill Meridian on next week uh, as our guest. Tomorrow we will have Tom Hugard on, and I hope to have a little extra time with Tom tomorrow so that we can uh, chat with him a little bit more of the things we want to see. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. I appreciate the comments. All right, let's 
let's uh, let's take one other look. Someone else ask about another commodity here uh, that we don't see, we haven't talked about very often. That is the copper, and as you'll see here, uh, copper is still in this nice trading range here. Hold on here. Oh, I have a transport chart, Mr. Bill. You betcha. There's the the. Basically, copper is in a pennant here, folks, from 273 to 250, so there's nothing going on there. I do have the transportations, however. Let's get that up, and we will uh, we'll be able to share that with the folks, I believe. There it is. And uh, this is it. Now, the transports, this was as of Friday because, you know, it was divergence to the downside. And we've had a, a pretty su substantial move uh, to the downside on this. So let's uh, pay attention to that. So far, that number that we looked at today in the S&P at uh, 31.25 is held. We've dropped about 12 points below that, but we'll see. So let's uh, take a commercial break here. We'll get back and wrap up the show. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. <clears throat> okay, we're back, folks. And uh, we are talking about the, I just posted a chart for the S&P cash, the SPY. Uh, if you'll notice here that we've completed several major patterns up here, you've got a big, ABCD pattern. You've got uh, a one three five pattern. 
uh, three drives to a top. I mean, you've got everything that you could look for. Remember, we had a this was as of Friday, and we had a big drop, as you can tell from the uh, what happened during the uh, on Monday and Tuesday and early Wednesday of this week. We would snap back a little bit. So this retracement that we had today at the 61 percent retracement is certainly very very important, folks. I don't know whether this is a, the high of the year or not. I don't really care. It's just a tradable pattern. Now there's a possibility that it, that it could, and if we go below that 382 level at 3060 which is we're a long way from that, but that's one tweet away, of course, in the S&P cash. Uh, that would tell us that, yes, this is a major, major correction, and we'll, we'll know more, of course, in a couple of weeks. But by then, you know, the fat lady is certainly will be dancing and singing, and the most of the menu will be uh, ordered already. So let's keep in mind. Thank you for putting up with my uh, little uh, retropra of whatever you want to call it <laughs> of what uh, I did. I've got a bunch of these things that I probably should share because some of them are pretty funny. And I know you get tired of looking at the charts. That's for sure. If you don't, there's something wrong with you because <laughs> the charts are not really fun to look at. So uh, that's uh, the key to uh, paying attention to this stuff, I believe. So anyway, I've been very fortunate to do what I do. Here I am, uh, you know, going to be hitting to the big, uh, going to be a date furlongs pretty soon. And uh, it's been a really great race. I hope we got a lot more races to run, but uh, I've just been uh, very, very fortunate with the people I've met and stuff. So, well, that's it. So live every day. In an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. And remember, try not to miss the show tomorrow because we're going to have. Uh... <laughs> Thanks a lot, Jim. You're comparing me. Uh, you have a choice between listening to me and Nancy Pelosi. Oh, you picked me. Well, that's good. Gee, that that's really great. Was that was that uh, being tied to being to the mute button? <laughs> See you tomorrow, folks. May God bless.